use the half reactions we came up with and balanced in part 1 to build an equation for the overall redox reaction taking place. We'll balance it in acid solution here. Then in part 3, we will convert it to basic solution. Here are the two balanced half reactions we obtained in part 1. In order to add these up and obtain the overall redox equation, we must look at the electrons. We see that three electrons are gained by the lower half reaction and two electrons are lost by the top half reaction. So the electrons gained are not equal to the electrons lost. We must multiply these half reactions by factors which will make the electrons gained equal to those lost. The lowest common multiple of 3 and 2 is 6. Therefore, we multiply by factors which will make electrons gain and electrons lost both equal to 6. So we multiply the top half reaction by 3 and the bottom half reaction by 2. So 2 times 3 equals 6 electrons are gained by the bottom half reaction and 3 times 2 equals 6 electrons are lost by the top half reaction. So because electrons gained are now equal to electrons lost, the electrons can be cancelled from the half reactions. So now we're left with these. At this point, we add what we have on the left and right of the arrows to obtain the equation for the overall redox reaction. Starting on the top left, we have 3 times 2 NH2OH, which gives us 6 NH2OH. And on the bottom left, we have 2 times HPO3, 2 minus, which we'll add here. And 2 times 5H+, plus, which equals 10H+. Plus. Now for the right side. On the top right, we have 3 times 1, N2, which is 3, N2. 3 times 2, H2O, which is equal to 6, H2O. And 3 times 2, H+, plus, which equals 6, H+. Plus. On the bottom right, we have 2 times P, which is equal to 2P, and 2 times 3H2O, which is equal to 6H2O. Now we have the balanced redox equation, but it has H plus ions on both sides, and two sets of water molecules on the right side. So this equation must be simplified. We start by removing 6H plus ions from both sides. Removing 6H plus ions from the right side leaves us with none. And removing 6H plus ions from the left side leaves us with 10 minus 6, or 4H plus ions. We simplify the water by adding the two sets of 6H2O molecules on the right side to give us 12 water molecules altogether. We'll rewrite this equation in a more compact form here. So now we have the redox equation balanced in acid solution. At this point, pause the video and check to see that all atoms are balanced and the total ionic charge is balanced. However, the original question wants us to balance this equation in basic solution. So this equation needs to be converted to basic solution. In the next video, which is part 3, we'll convert this redox equation to basic solution.